story time! Literally all I hear is like grunting sounds. What's up guys? So today is a very gloomy and very sad looking day. I don't really have anything to do today. Sophie and I are home. It's already like noon and we're still like semi in pajamas and stuff and I don't have any makeup on so... I've been wanting to do a video with Sophie, like, of her doing my makeup, so I figured I have nothing to do today, and today is kind of one of those stay-at-home days, so I figured today would be a good day, and I would tell you guys a little story, something that happened to me, like, just last week, and, uh, yeah. Let's get started. I don't have very much makeup, but I figured, <laughs> look at Sophie. Half shirt, half pajamas. <laughs> By the way, we just ate ice cream. <laughs> Look at her face. Tienes <laughs> chocolate. Yeah, we're a hot mess, but we're gonna make this video, and I just think it'd be really fun. This is it. This is all I have. This is all the makeup that I like really use so I'm gonna let Sophie get creative with my face and there's not a mirror in here so I can't really see myself so I guess I'll just see myself when she's done I'm ready <laughs> story time while well, Sophie does my makeup <clears throat> okay so one night me and my friend went to go see the movie split on base if you guys haven't seen that, I don't recommend you watching it if, like, you're a parent. I don't know. That just, that part of it, of the movie, like, freaked me out. But I think the movie was, like, really, really cool. Other than that. Hi. <laughs> and I win. I watch you. I come home and it was, like, 11 at night. I went to lay in bed and I got, got the tablet. <coughs> Salut. I got the tablet and I Thank went. Thank you. <laughs> I got the tablet and I started to like watch a movie and I guess kind of distract myself from the move the movie split and that way I can just like fall asleep a little bit better and so I was watching the movie and all of a sudden I get a phone call at like 12 30 midnight and in my head I'm like thinking well it said like no caller ID so I didn't know who it was and in my mind I'm like okay it's my husband he's calling me because um, he's deployed or whatever and he's probably trying to reach reach me somehow so I answer and literally all I hear is like grunting sounds and like <laughs> that kind of noise thoughts started running through my head I'm like who the heck is calling me is this like a prank is this like you know is my husband like with someone else like what the heck is going on the he's probably like with someone else and this girl decides to like call his wife and like you know i don't know things like pop in my head i hung up i'm like all right i know i'm not gonna freak out about this whatever i hung up the phone and then he calls me back but this time it's like a facetime call so i can actually see his number it's a japanese number so i'm like okay well this individual is here in japan who the heck is this and how did they get my number at first like i couldn't really see the screen like he was covering the camera but then all of a sudden he started to like adjust the the camera like he propped it up on something and he was trying to face it towards him and i saw his uh, junk and he was clearly masturbating to the phone call i was kind of thrown off by that i had never ever experienced this like ever in my life and i I don't know. I didn't know what to think really. I thought it was funny for like a few seconds. Then you start to think about all the craziness in this world and after seeing the movie Split, it just kind of like my paranoia was like really high. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh my gosh, like who is this? Is this person on the military base? Do they have access? Like is this a potential stalker? What is going on? Yeah. 
is going on? I hung up, and before I hung up, I was like telling him, like, dude, you know I can see your phone number. I can track you down. He seemed to be getting very aroused by the fact that I was talking. I just took some quick screenshots of that phone call, and I hung up because I'm like, hell no, I'm not going to keep talking to this guy and have him keep, like, getting aroused by my voice <laughs> so i hung up on him i immediately called my friend that i had gone to the movies with and i'm like dude i don't know what to do like who is this like why does this happen to me like what do i do and so i ended up reaching out to another friend i was texting my friend and and i was like you know what okay i'm just gonna keep letting this guy call and I'm just gonna keep tracking it and tomorrow morning I'm going to report it. That was just a weird experience for me. I had never experienced anything like that. He didn't show any of his face or anything so I, I wouldn't know who this individual is. What I do know is that this person definitely does it on a regular basis because that first call he was already like going. <laughs> like... <laughs> so I know that he like yeah, he does this regularly and enjoys it. For a solid 30 minutes, he just kept calling and calling and calling, so I just kept ignoring, really. There's really nothing I could do. I would wake up every two hours, like, thinking about what if someone was in the house, so I, like, went and checked the whole house and make sure, and, like, no one was hiding somewhere. I don't know. And more than anything, for, like, Sophie's safety, I was kind of, like, freaked out about that. At first, I, I didn't want to kind of report that, only because, I don't know, was, I, I didn't know if it was, like, a, a serious thing. But I figured I need to, only because I don't know if this individual is someone that lives on the military base. And if it is, then that is really creepy and really, like, awkward and, I don't know, if stalker possibly so I went to report it it was such a hassle I'm not even gonna lie like it took like four hours to do the whole thing I went to report it to security forces which is like the military police here and then I went to talk to a special investigator that then like investigated who like hoping to track the number down so it came out to it was no one here on the military base thank goodness but it is, um, it is someone in Japan, and they couldn't tell me, like, where they got my number from. But obviously, the, there's ways, or just, like, randomly typing in numbers. You couldn't really know how. But they, like, looked them up on Facebook, and um, there wasn't, like, a picture or anything of a face. It was, like, an animated picture, like a, I don't know, like, anime stuff. But they looked up his friends to see if we had like mutual friends or something and they were all kind of like porn star looking girls. Obviously like you know we're dealing with a pervert. That's a big surprise. <laughs> they still don't know who this is. They just like l like know it's in a certain area of Japan. It's not close to the military base. So I kind of feel good about that in that sense. And unfortunately, there's like limitations that the military can do here in Japan. So if it's someone on the military base, they can pursue all legal stuff with that. But if it's a Japanese citizen, then I'd have to go through... Um, the police. <laughs> yeah. I have to go with the Japanese police. And unfortunately, there is no law that would be able to help me in a situation like that. So... I guess these perverts are still at it and they know that they can do it and nothing's gonna happen to them. But apparently it's a common thing here in Japan. There's just a lot of perverts happening. So that is my creepy, creepy. call that happened last week. As far as like explaining it to people, it was like, oh, <laughs> like, so awkward. I'm like, yeah, someone called me last night masturbating. Totally casual. <laughs> Just putting blush on my chest. <laughs> no. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Alright, I'm gonna go 
see myself in the bathroom because like the viewfinder's here, but let me go check the bathroom. Holy! Oh, that's not that bad. Somehow I grew two different eyebrows. <laughs> Well, this isn't that bad, actually. <laughs> I was expecting something like clown face yeah. or something. But then again, I don't have like crazy makeup for her to like try these crazy <laughs> stuff. Anyway, say bye. A YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you. Bye. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys enjoyed the story. I don't know if it was interesting or not, but it is something that happened to me and I just thought it'd be funny to share with you guys and maybe if you're in Japan you get like random calls, just don't answer them. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye! We look like a hot mess. Like, <laughs> ¿dónde está Sophie? Peekaboo. <laughs>